Good morning everyone and welcome back to Kazamaza Chess Channel, the channel that shows games for underrated chess players that beat high rated opponent 300 points above, above their ratings or more. Uh, before I show you this uh, game, I would like to apologize for my last video, it was uh, really bad quality and uh, I will try to fix this as much as I can uh, regarding the equipments I have. Hopefully in the near future uh, I can uh, upgrade my equipments and have better quality video and audio. And uh, also I have uh, an, an announcement to make. Uh, our team Cool and the Gang on LightChess.org uh, started a new tournament. It, it, uh, it's uh, an exclusive tournament between uh, all our members. And it's a round robin uh, tournament where every player will uh, have the chance to play with every player that means low rated one will play with the high rated one and vice versa of course uh, the, as an opportunity for all of us to uh, to improve and for, to learn from each others so uh, in that context I would like to say that I will show all the games that are playing in this tournament whether it's a win or draw or whatever so uh, it will be uh, simply uh, a bit out of context of this channel, but um, but I hope and uh, but I hope this games I mean uh, to to inspire you and to motivate you to improve your games and to uh, and to learn from our mistakes in the games and and what to do and what not to do. So um, uh, I will I will be putting this uh, those game in a different series, of course. So feel free to check them to check them out and uh, and wish us luck in, the, in those games. So yeah, without further ado, let's check out this game that is sent to me by uh, a friend from uh, lightchess.org. His name is Never Wanna Fly, and he's rating around 1700. And his opponent, his name is uh, Jade something, and uh, he's rating around uh, 2400. So that's really a huge uh, difference between uh, rating and uh, and I mean 2400 rapid is like uh, it's like a master rating. So uh, let's check out this really interesting game. So uh, never want to fly is playing with black and his opponent with white and he opened with e4. We have d6 and this is called the perk defense. And uh, I'm a big fan of perk defense because uh, perk defense is uh, has a uh, reputation of being a solid uh, solid response to e4, and uh, and at the same time, it plays on the counter attack. So you, uh, you allow white to uh, to have some grip on the center, only for for you to try to undermine him uh, later in the game so uh, so let's continue from here we have d4 we have knight f6 knight c3 and uh, g6 and here we have uh, f4 from white and this is the most aggressive uh, continuation from uh, white while playing against the perk defense, and this is and this is called the Austrian attack from white. And uh, and here simply black develop continue developing. He developed his bishop, flanked on his bishop on uh, g7, and here we are still all theory. And white also continue his development, uh, his knight on f3, and here we have c5, and this is called the dragon formation from the perk defense which I personally uh, play, play it a lot in my uh, throughout my games I'm 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 uh, I'm a per defense player so uh, and here um, of course trying to challenge in the center because here uh, because here uh, when you have this very powerful uh, center from white I mean, you have to act uh, immediately, or else you will be really uh, under tremendous pressure. So uh, that's why we play c5, and here white, white captures, and here we have uh, a5 pinning that knight, and white develop his uh, his bishop on d3, and uh, of course 
capturing this pawn actually will be a mistake because here uh, black can uh, capture the pawn here of course the knight can't capture it back because it's pin so um, so let's say whatever white plays here let's say he just continued to attack the the knight or uh, or develop his uh, bishop so the knight can actually uh, grab this bishop or if white uh, trying to do something else like maybe uh, developing his bishop then uh, black can capture and uh, and white has to move and you see here that uh, actually black will be much better so uh, just wanted to, to show you a different uh, continuation why uh, why didn't capture the spawn so uh, instead white developed his bishop on d3 and uh, black captured the pawn on c5 we have queen to uh, e2 and black castles and here we have bishop to e3 attacking this uh, queen and winning a tempo and here the queen uh, goes back to b4 also pinning that knight and in this moment white made the huge mistake that will actually cost him the whole game and uh, it's really um, a weird how can uh, 2400 make this uh, this big mistake uh, let's see here white actually castles queen side and this is a mistake uh, if white castles king side then white would be uh, much much better and he will have the advantage but uh, when he castles queen side uh, black immediately punished him by taking on his on this pawn on e4 and here uh, white tried to attack the the queen on b4 but black continue his attack and he captured the knight here of course trying uh, threatening to capture the queen here so uh, white captured the queen and uh, black captures back his uh, white queen we have bishop uh, captured on e2 and a5 so already here black is up in material and uh, and his position is uh, is a lot better and as you can see uh, this uh, he's trying to open up his, this uh, a5 for his rook and uh, <coughs> and his king is much safer and you have this already this bishop i in this king so uh, uh, and also th this bishop is coming to uh, to f5 also will i this king so uh, the knight will will jump in also to the game and it would be a lot a lot of pressure for white so anyway black play uh, push b5 of course try to control those squares and try to uh, prevent black to develop his knight on an active square so also black uh, push a4, a4 continue his attack and here uh, of course white try to trade this his bishop for this very powerful bishop on g on g7 uh, white played the uh, bishop to to g4 we have rook to e1 knight d d7 and here black capture uh, white captured the bishop king captures back and we have knight to d4 black captured the white bishop rook captured back and we have e6 so uh, we have g4 of course the battle here is for this uh, f5 square and here continue what black continue to push his um, his a pawn white captures and white and black not immediately captured but improving his position we have knight to b6 we have rook to uh, e3 and knight to c4 uh, forking this rook and the pawn so um, of course you can save them both 
so uh, rook attacking the knight on uh, c4 we have uh, the rook on a4 defending it and b6 from white we have another uh, the rook another rook joined the attack on the king's side double up the rook on the a file we have a knight to be uh, to b5 black try to have more control in the center d5 we have rook to d3 rook to a6 trying to attack this pawn so you now you have two attack two pieces attacking this uh, this pawn we have knight to c7 attacking this uh, this rook black captured this pawn and knight to e8 that comes with a check king to f8 attacking the knight knight to f6 and king back to g7 attacking the knight we have g g5 protecting the knight and h5 we have knight to d7 attacking the rook the rook goes back to a6 and here knight to c uh, to c5 forking those rooks and uh, in this moment actually white is still fine and uh, the position is still playable but you have to be uh, really careful how to how to continue this and here uh, black captured the pawn on a3 and this was the chance for white to actually uh, try to to to, to, to still be in the game but here uh, white made a huge blunder and this is really weird coming from uh, 2400 players I mean this is like a master rating he actually uh, the best move here is actually for the rook to capture to capture this uh, this rook here but uh, what what white played actually uh, he, he took on the other rook with a knight captured rook on a6 and uh, and here it was all over because he white totally missed this uh, rook to a1 and this is checkmate as you can see this powerful very powerful knight controlled those squares for the king so he can't escape and uh, of course the rook controlling all the square around this king so the king has nowhere to go and this is checkmate so uh, so yeah this is a game i mean um, it's, uh, it's, it's yeah as i said it's weird how how 2400 uh, player actually um, first i mean uh, how he a castle green side and it was a bad decision and also here in this very critical moment in the game uh, why the best move were simply capturing this uh, this rook here because uh, white actually obviously they didn't see this this mate in one but instead he captured the rook and this allowed black to uh, to deliver this really beautiful checkmate so yeah uh congratulations never want to fly for this really really amazing game and nice really nice tactics and the uh, and and uh, on the way that you were able to uh, punish your opponent mistakes and um, i really hope you guys you enjoyed this game thank you so much for uh, for watching and uh, and yeah i will see you soon um, most probably I will start uh, the our uh, tournament series and at the same time of course I will be showing uh, your games that you are sending to me on lightchess.org so uh, enjoy your weekend and thank you so much for for watching uh, my channel again and uh, and happy chess uh, goodbye and see you soon